hey all welcome again on david stack so till the last video what we did that we sent the data of the profile like name profession and date of birth to the backend but we didn't send any data of the profile image because we didn't connected the profile image endpoint to the blog app so in this video we will connect the image endpoint to the blog app so you know that the type of the request which we are using for the image endpoint is a patch request and I already explained that why I am using the patch request and uh, we have to create a patch method onto the blog app because if you go on a blog app and in the blog app what we have that we have a get request we have a post request but we don't have any patch request and uh, if you remember that at the time of checking a uh, endpoint of the add image we chosen a content type as a form data most of the time what we did that we choose a uh, content type as a raw and in the raw we choose a type as a json format but for the sending a image we choose a type of content is form data and according to this we are sending a key as an image and value as a respective image file also we change the file from text to file which means that we had to do the same thing into the blog app also we had to set a content time as a form data and we had to send a image in the form of file so basically if I will make a method for the sending a image file from front end to the back end the same method will be applied for the sending a file also like the PDF docx or any kind of file format but you have to change the respective endpoint functionality like in the add image what we did that we are filtering the image file as a jpg and png format but when you send a pdf or any type of docx then we have to change this filter type so let's do our work that send a profile image from the front end let's go on a blog app and implement a function or method for the sending an image i will create a method like patch image in the patch image what we will do that similarly we will get a endpoint URL like we are doing in the other method and after getting the URL we will format the URL I mean we will just have to add the base URL first before the specific endpoint URL now we have to send a token so let me copy this code because we need a token here also and add here and uh, we have to just use one thing over here because we are using a await type so we have to add a async now the type of data we are sending from the front end is a file type so we have to use a multi part request method so with help of that only we can send a file type data from the front end to the back end the request is a patch request and we specify the URL like this so we created a request instance of the type of multi part request so in this request instance we will add the file so let's add the file to add a file we just have to call this instance and we have a additional field like files then add and inside the add we had to call the just let me call this we had to call the http dot multi part file so with help of this multi part file only we can send the data so in the multi part file we will call a additional method called from path so you know that the image field which we are showing here we are using the path of the image so same path we will send to the network handler so the path is a type of string so let me add a additional field called file path 
and uh, this file path will come here and uh, the field is a type of key so we are using a img as a key so same we have to specify over here now we just have to add our headers so i told you that in the header we specify the our authorization code and uh, and uh, just wait a minute i have to use the add all and inside the add all we have to specify our header so i told you that in the header only we specify the content type so when we send that text at that time the content type is a uh, application slash json but when we send a uh, image type then the content type will be multi-part slash form data as i told earlier now we just had to add a token over here because we had to send a token to validate a user now we are ready to send the request we added a file which we file we want to send and we specify the content type also and we also specify the http request type over here and url also now it's time to send it to send it we just have to use the same instance and the parameter called send and we will get a response and we will store a response like this and if you hover on a response you will see the response is type of stream response so if you want to return a response from here then we have to add a return type let me add a return type and in the return type first use the http and the type of return time is stream response so we had to return it this response which we are getting to the create profile because we will call this method from the create profile only now we are ready to use this patch image endpoint onto the create profile page now let's work on the logic to send a image file so the thing we will do that first we will check that the data of text field is sent onto the backend or not if it's sent to the backend successfully then we will send this image file so you know that if we send the data successfully to the backend we will get a response code 200 so i will write a if condition over here like if the status code is 200 which, which means the data is successfully uploaded also we can add a status code 201 because sometime it will give a status code 201 also then only we will send the image to the backend before sending the image we have to do the validation of the image so you know that we are storing the image file on this variable first we will check that uh, image path is not null so you know that when we get image from the gallery or the camera then we are setting the image over here also so if the image is null then we are setting the image the default image for my case it's a rdj image but your case it can be other famous actor or a default kind of image for you so if the image is null i am setting a default image and if the image path is not null then only we are setting a image which we are getting from the camera or a gallery like if i will choose a image and uh, let me go on a gallery i will select my own profile p and now we set that uh, image file path over here same thing i am checking over here if the image file path is null then we will not send any data to the backend and if the image file path is not null which means we have a image so we will send the this image file to the backend 
so to send it we have to first get a response back and the variable of the response will be image response and uh, we have to use the network handler again before using it we have to use the await and in the network handler we created a patch image method so we have to use that patch image method over here so let me use the patch image and in the patch image we have to specify the endpoint so the endpoint will be profile slash add slash image you know that the endpoint is the same if you don't know that then you can find the well documentation on the description and we have to specify the path also so this is the path which we have right now so let me specify the path and uh, and add the semicolon now we got the response back on this variable so we just had to do a one quick thing that when we hit the submit button instead of text we will show the circular progress bar and after sending a successfully data we will go on a profile page so let me create uh, another variable to handle a circular progress bar you know that in the other page also we created a bool type variable name is circular and first we set the variable as a false then with help of this circular variable we are changing a uh, text and the circular progress bar so here we have the text of submit here we will add a circular variable and check if the circular is true then we will show a circular progress indicator as a widget if the circular is false then we will show the submit button now at the time of tapping this method we will set the circular as a true so let me set the circular as a true and uh, after we successfully send the data we have to set the circular as a false so here if the image file is null in the else condition what we will do that we will just have to set the state circular as a false and uh, we have to just navigate from here so we will use a navigator and uh, navigator and of context and here we will use the push remove and until so after we add the data successfully here we will go on a page we will go on a page the home page i mean the main page because we added our data successfully then we have to go on to the home page and user will have a choice that he or she can go again on a profile page so let me add a home page over here which is our landing page and it does save let me first add a semicolon over here and uh, it does save and uh, we will test it but first let me add the same thing okay here we are getting some error don't know what is the error that many positional argument we have two position over here on the network handler I didn't save the network handler I think so let me save it and now the error is gone and we have to do the same thing inside the this if condition also so here we will write a additional if condition that if the image response status code is 200 200 then only we will perform this so hit the save again so basically idea is that here we check again the image response we are we are getting if the image response is 200 only which means 
we uploaded the image successfully to the backend then only we will set the circular as a false and we will navigate from the image profile otherwise we can show a snack bar so here is your task that think about that how we can set here the snack bar so when we hit the submit button and if the image profile is added successfully over here but at the time of sending we got some error so in this else condition i mean in the after the if condition of the status code we had to add a else condition where we had to show the snack bar that you got a network error so this is your task and maybe in the next video i will show you that how we can show a snack bar so let me do the form validation over here and we will send a image from here to the backend so the name will be balram this is my name profession is at teo date of birth just to the zero one zero one it is 10 2021 and title will be like subscribe and before clicking a submit button let me go on a backend and let me delete this image which we have and uh, we just have to do quick thing that remove the async and await from here because sometime it gave a issue and also remove this filter i mean the type i am right now sending is not a jpg or a png format so it will give an error to me so i am removing the filter and hit the save go on a user.js and sometime your token will be expired so i face the issue that i fix the token expiration with 24 hours so i have to log in again with the blog app so for your case also just delete this expiration date and hit the save so now if you get any error first you delete the token you store in the flutter secure storage then again log in with the blog app now let's go and test it i will hit the submit button and now it will submit the data and now you can see that the data is successfully sent to the backend and we land into the home page which we set it over here that after we successfully send the data we have to go on to the home page let me go on a backend file in the uploads folder that the uh, image is come or not and here our profile image again came and let me go on a mongodb class before we don't have any data here and if i will refresh it just wait and after refreshing it you can see that the image data is updated i mean the path of the image also updated and the username name profession and about is now came here which means it's working perfectly so the agenda of the this video is now completed let's see on our next video and we will start working on the profile page the ui part of the profile page thank you all happy coding please subscribe this channel and see you on our next video